Yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely have to do more with this. Like, this is such a cool idea. I think. <laughs> Like, oh my god, dude, this is sick. <laughs> All right, so I don't know if you or anything like me, but I've wanted to make my own keyboard case. So you get into the custom keyboard stuff and you start making your own boards, you start realizing there's some stuff that you like, it's either really expensive and you don't have the type of money, or you find a board that you like and it's like a group buy that happened like three or four years ago and you're like, when's it coming out again? It's the best part about it, it's not. But imagine if there is a cheaper option to just get it yourself and this is when i had an idea i happened to be shopping at a local store of mine and i saw some dry foam i know if you know what dry foam is it's the stuff that you can pretty much squish and it evaporates i know okay <laughs> hear me out it is super easy to foam and like makeshift i want to make my own keyboard case and i think it's going to sound good i mean think about it like foam it can only sound good the whole thing is foam and a little spoiler That thing's fucking huge, dude. Let me give you a little bit of a rundown of how this whole thing's gonna be working. So clearly the dry foam, that's gonna be our case. Now, you can pretty much shape it to whatever you want. Now, how we're gonna actually find the right size and exactly make the right cuts, I'm gonna be using just a random PCB and a plate that go together to use it on. So I have the Tofu 65 board of mine way back in the day. So use that and pop it into this and just kind of size it off that. So that's pretty much what we're gonna be doing. And after that, we're gonna be putting in switches, keycaps, and maybe painting it. I don't know. I'm kind of foreshadowing because I haven't even done the build yet. Like literally, it's like right here. Haven't done anything yet. That's the plan. Let's hope that it's as smooth as I want it to be. Okay, I'm gonna go. I don't know why I walked away at the fucking off buttons right here. So first and foremost, this is fucking dirty. All right, it, it's it's making a lot of a lot of shit. So this is gonna be fucking everywhere. So I don't know, I'm probably not gonna cut on this table. It'll be everywhere in the house. It, it just won't be good. And it's possibly toxic. I haven't done any research on it. So yeah, I didn't know how I was actually gonna do this to begin with, but cutting it, now having it in front of me, it seems a lot easier to just press down on the plate to just make its mark so that I can cut it. Because if I did something where I did this and then traced it, I feel like no matter what, I wasn't gonna get it right and it just wasn't gonna go good. So I think if I just like, of course, level it, make sure it's all right, and then just kind of press down a little bit, it should make a little bit of mark to where I can just make my cuts and it should be okay. Just got done measuring. And now I'm gonna make its indent. I also leveled it, but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna push down on it and hopefully it'll make a mark on it. Okay, just really making sure I press really hard on every possible place I can, dude. I think it's gonna work. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I need to do it. I need to do it again, but that's pretty good. I th I think that's pretty good. It did make a very slight difference. Just a little side note. I have done a little bit of planning for this. Instead of me using the majority of my boards, which are gummy O-ring mounted. You can see how that would be kind of hard to, to mount on a full foam board where you press too hard and it up. That's why I'm going with the Tofu 65 PCB and plate because it's just screwed into the case. And if I get the dimensions right, I could just hopefully plop it in and it'll be good enough. Hopefully. All right, so little update. I didn't realize just how quite easy cutting this thing would be. I already knew it was gonna be easy to like push on and you can like kind of make it come up. This makes me question the longevity of this, even though I knew it wasn't gonna last long. If anything, it's gonna be like a mock-up thing maybe. Yeah, it's really easy. So yeah, I'm, I'm gonna scoop this out real quick. Yo, I'm just using a keycap puller and y'all want some satisfying footage? Hold up, let me, let me get you this. It's like those bars of soap. Oh, dude, this is so much fun. This is already the best video I've ever done. All right, so a little progress. Looks pretty good. I did fuck up a little bit, and it's kind of rounded right there. I don't know how I'm going to fix that, but hey, it's getting pretty deep, looking pretty good. I am in the kitchen now because, I mean, I was... Yeah, it was kind of making a mess. My hands feel terrible. I even feel gross touching the camera. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this down anyways. Okay. There, there, there's the, this is going to be our first test subject. The PCB and the plate. It is, once again, a little bit fucked up there. Eight. I mean, it is what it is. All right, so I tested it. It needs to be a little bit uh, widened on both sides. And I'm going to clean up 
this little edge here. So here we go again. We're back. Let's see if it fits. Ooh, that's a nice fit, dude. Of course, there's a USB type C. I am planning on making that work. Anyways, <laughs> pretty snug in there. It looks pretty good, dude. That's a, that's a solid fit right there. So we went ahead and built the whole PCB with the switches and everything. Once again, this is the Tofu 65 brass plate with the PCB. And then for these switches, we have some Muche Studio switches, the Aurora ones that I have a link down in the description. Yeah, these switches sound really good, man. I'm excited to see what they're gonna sound like in here. Yeah, that's done with the, the easy part. Now let's see if it sounds good and if I have to tweak anything. Hopefully I don't, I just kind of plop it in, put the key guys on and do a sound test and it'll sound great. I don't... <laughs> Okay, you look even? No, we're just gonna push this down. Maybe it'll... <laughs> that looks pretty even to me. <laughs> pretty even on all sides. It's a little bit sticking up on the left-hand side, but let's just let's just get some key gaps on to see what this thing sounds like first. I gotta say, the thickness of this is... <laughs> I, I wanted to cut it down, but I kinda don't want to now. I kinda want it just to make it thick like this. Like, it's, imagine that it's like a centerpiece. You got your monitors, like, bam, you know what I mean? <laughs> As for the keycaps, we're gonna be using the milkshake keycaps that are from Novel Keys. As you see, they're actually on the board right now. I'm just gonna swap them over and put on these. Dude, this thing is, <laughs> this is a thick boy. Very light though. I don't know how comfortable this is gonna be to type on, but we'll, we'll see. I guess while we're here, I guess say a few things. Of course, this isn't very in game. You know what I mean? Like if you press too hard or if you drop it or something, it, it, it will break. I like the idea that I can make my case whatever I want. Now, the better I get after doing this one thing, I feel like I can get pretty good at this. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what could come. And if you have any ideas of different themed boards, like the possibility is here are endless. Now let me know. I'd be down to do more uh, builds like this. And I, I don't know, I think it's a cool concept to do whatever I want. And I don't have to be bound by different companies sending me things or whatever. I could just do whatever I want and make a video out of it. <laughs> I do want to paint this. I think the green looks pretty tacky, <laughs> but I don't know what yet. So I think I'm just going to wait for like a short or like the next video. I'm just going to leave it how it is and uh, just, that's going to be the keyboard build. <laughs> yeah, man, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to do more with this. Like, this is such a cool idea. I th <laughs> like, oh my God, dude, this is sick. <laughs> okay. Okay. I did not expect it to look this good. Imagine the potential here. Literally, I can make whatever I want into a keyboard. Dude, it sounds good. <laughs> and it adds a little bit of flex to it. Just because it's already like a little bit bouncy when you first touch it. But like, hey dude, I ain't gonna complain. I'm meant for that. So there's the thing. Like, th this here it is, dude. I can pick it up and everything. Like, I mean, it looks good, doesn't it? But, uh, imagine, dude, imagine carrying this out somewhere and like going somewhere and like using it. <sighs> that, it is all funny games. Now, let's go ahead and hear the sound test. Dude, dude, come on, man. This is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Just the thought that you could actually use this as like a day-to-day. -day. Clearly, it's not the most enjoyable in terms of typing angle. I mean, I guess I could like put some feet and make it like that, but it is pretty tall. Like, slice it in half, then maybe. I can't believe I'm thinking about trying to use this thing, dude. It's the Thick Boy keyboard. Got a big forehead. <laughs> There's a lot of trial and error. I mean, for the most part, it was pr like really easy. I didn't expect it to be so easy to like shape. I thought I was gonna have to use, I was gonna use the Dremel to get better lines, but, and like to be able to take out all the centerpiece easier. 
I ended up not using that and just used like a keycap puller of all things, dude. Keycap puller. It, I think it. I think this is insane. Imagine, the, just imagine the things you can make with this. But yeah, uh, that's the build. Hopefully you enjoyed. I, <laughs> I don't know what's going on, dude. Like, why is this even a thing? And like, it sounds good with no mods. Like, dude, come on, man. Yeah, that is the end of the video. Hopefully you'd enjoy me build this. Or maybe if you have any ideas of what I could do with this or other things, let me know. I'm so down to do more. I will see you in the next one.